ಭಜುರೆ ಮನ ಶ್ರೀನಂದ ನಂದನಾಯ ಭಯ ಚರನಾರ ಬಿಂದ ರೇ ಭಜುರೆ ಮನ educated from age of 17 by your spiritual master is there anyone that you are educating in this way are you now? giving that education to someone now my education actually fortunately come to me ah uh, they are influence of my guru maharaj and mercy of my guru maharaj through that come to me I was not so eager to get education but by his divine will education automatically entered to me I not read so many books but for the two years I heard from my guru maharaj then all I am always living with guru maharaj then all scriptures I memorized what he is there he told 42 years and lots that ocean ocean of scripture he was like living encyclopedia then automatically some of the uh, mercy come to me and i think it is sufficient for uh, preaching and who is living with me i am trying to make them uh, as guru maharaj is desired and they must get something no doubt and the mercy will come through mood of service and not automatically some knowledge will reveal in the heart through mercy and this way someone must get it entonces el vivia tantos años con shila guru mars con shila bhakti rakat shila de bosai mars e no es precisamente que tenía una educación formal en el sentido de estudiar pero si el guru maharaj era tan erudito y él era como un enciclopedia de, de todo conocimiento especialmente y él también tenía el poder de lanzar ese conocimiento en el corazón por hablar incluso hemos escuchado de Shri Govinda Maharaj no es que por leer y memorizar uno no podía necesariamente agarrar algo pero simplemente Guru Maharaj tenía el poder de lanzar el conocimiento en el corazón de uno pues de, de, su, de escuchar y vivir estar con, tanto con tiempo con él pues él agarró y, y, y recuerda tantas diferentes escrituras, tanta diferente educación que recibió a través de la misericordia de Shila Guru Maharaj y los que están viviendo con él o asociando con él, sirviendo con la actitud, especialmente con la actitud de servicio pues él está, uh, ellos están adquiriendo de acuerdo Uh, no uh, lo que quiere el guru maharaj como quiere formar a las personas entonces no sé si ya se responde a su pre pregunta something i did so that is nothing actually what i read that is nothing actually mercy of guru maharaj it's little bit can purify eh ಿಲ್ಲ 
Entonces él no tiene algún libro escrito de toda esa sabiduría y de todos esos conocimientos Muchos que él libros. va pregonando por donde va pasando. O inclusive la pregunta que hizo aquel joven que, que creo que quedó inconclusa porque él estaba pidiendo una iniciación. Él está facultado para iniciar a una persona como él. Pues está aquí, ¿no? Sí, eh, pero lo pidió. La pregunta es, él lo pidió y yo no entendí o no, o no capté si él dio una respuesta de que si lo va a iniciar o no lo va a iniciar. Sí. Él dijo que si la, si la persona tenía fe, ese es el, ese es el requisito, ¿no? No es que lo rechazó. No va a aceptar si la persona tiene fe. ¿Pero se lleva algún ritual para eso? ¿Rito? El rito es de aceptar al maestro espiritual. El maestro espiritual brinda su misericordia al discípulo. No, hay, no es un asunto de ritos, es un asunto de tratos del corazón. Respecto a eso, yo ahorita aquí, me, mi nombre es José Mercedes Arzúa Ruiz, ese es mi nombre. ¿Qué nombre podría recibir del maestro espiritual? Nombre espiritual? ¿Perdón? ¿Qué nombre podría recibir del maestro espiritual? Ese es asunto entre tú y tu maestro espiritual. Al momento de recibir el santo nombre de él, él te da el nombre espiritual. ¿No? When can you initiate him? Oh. When he's ready. Yeah. Once my eyes to accept him, he's beautiful. Uh -huh. And he's asking, when you can initiate him? Oh, when can I be Bueno, más que nada, yo desconozco la literatura de los Vedas. Me fascina mucho todos los tratados de teología. Por ejemplo, he leído a Blavaz, he leído el Corán, el Talmud, algo de los Vedas, casi nada. Desconozco ser rituales. Me interesó mucho la pregunta del joven, porque yo creo que la mayor parte de las personas que estamos aquí, que no pertenecemos todavía a un grupo como el que ustedes están, desconocemos si se lleva a cabo un ritual. Yo lo desconozco en lo personal, no sé los demás. Y vi mucho interés de parte del joven por una iniciación, ¿verdad? Y desconozco si, si nomás es porque él le dice que tiene que tener esa fe ya está dentro de ese, de ese tipo de, de, de asociaciones a donde él quiere pertenecer, por ejemplo. No es que quiere hablar por él. Simplemente me quedó la inquietud, ¿verdad? Me quedó la inquietud de que si yo quisiera iniciarme como lo pretendía él, él no es por mi fe. Responding also to his question because um, she doesn't really know so much about all our practices and what rituals we follow or this or that. She's read something of Purana, she's read something of different literatures. But she wanted to know because this person asking about initiation, then she wanted to know something more about that. What is this in initiation? What you're saying is a question of faith, but she wanted to know more about what is. What is the what it what it means? What are what are our practices? What are something like that? Which way they can go from the Maharaj? Maharaj can understand. Pues, sabe una cosa que también puedo decir es que Maharaj se va mañana, pero al mismo tiempo. Hay personas que están aquí, que están en representación de Srila Govinda Maharaj, como el Shripad Bhakti Kushamasha Maharaj, Shripad Bhakti Mohan Sajjan Maharaj. Y, pues, ellos sir sirven en representación de Srila uh, Govinda Maharaj. Ellos también, si una persona no, no sabe tanto como de las prácticas, de, la, de lo que es la vida de un devoto, o qué hacemos, cómo se conecta con el maestro espiritual, con, que, 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 que está involucrado, digamos, en tener tal conexión. Pues hay personas aquí que representan al maestro espiritual y que le pueden ayudar a uno, pueden, pueden instruir a uno e incluso le puede efectuar esa conexión con el maestro espiritual. Entonces, 
ese también es, estamos, estamos um, invitando a, a su divina gracia aquí. En este tiempo tuvimos esos programas y todo eso. Y cl claro, eso ha, ha creado como mucho interés porque de los, de los programas de su presencia. Pero es, también ese interés puede continuar y el contacto con los representantes de su divina gracia le puede también satisfacer, yo creo, por responder a las preguntas que no necesariamente van a estar uh, contestadas en, en una sola noche o en un día o dos días o durante su presencia, ¿no? Y también, oh, también esperamos el regreso de, de Shiva Govinda Maharaj aquí a Monterrey en el futuro. I told her that, that also there are I mean, I Yes, true. Yo no escuché todo la pregunta que qué dijo la llorama. Que si you, you can speak English. A little bit more, Maharaja. ¿Ah? No, no, no te digo. Raja me Que si un devoto puro es aquel que no hace errores, o aquel que a pesar de que puede hacer errores, se consagra constantemente al servicio del Señor. He said, what is a, de a pure devotee? Is a pure devotee a person who doesn't make any mistakes, or is it a person who despite making mistakes is always re taking refuge in Krishna's... Um, Lotus feet. Well, ¿Qué era story? la primera parte de la pregunta? Tú decías el verso Tate no campan sus amigos. Tate no campan sus amigos humano es el verso. That verse. Sí. Y la pregunta, ¿qué es un devoto puro? Un devoto puro es el que se refugia nada más en Krishna o aquel que no comete errores. So what is a pure devotee? Somebody who's exclusively <coughs> taking refuge of Krishna or somebody who doesn't make any mistakes? What's the question? Sí, o sea que la o sea que qué es el devoto puro? Es aquella persona que se refugia en Krishna a pesar de cometer errores? Sí, o sea, con esos materiales así. Is a pure devotee someone who still has material desires but is, is taking shelter of Krishna's lotus feet? Or is it somebody who is now infallible, I guess? Infallible, yeah? Mm -hmm. Someone who is infallible, he's a pure devotee? Mm -hmm. Or can a pure devotee still be making some make mistakes, still have some <coughs> material desires, but he's taking refuge of Krishna? I don't mind. Uh, <laughs> This verse he started Tate no Kampan Su Samikshamana Bunjana e Vatma Kritang Vipakam Vidvag Babur Gil Vidadhan Namaste Jiveta Jo Mukti Pade Sodaya Bhak Mukti Pade Sodaya Bhak means before he had some karma but now he is giving his whole life thought, word, and deed 
to the service of the lotus feet of his Lord. Eso significa que antes él tuvo algún karma, pero ya está dando todo su servicio, palabras, pens palabras pensamientos y acciones en el servicio de su Señor. And, and he considers what will disturb me now in my life, my practicing life, what will disturb me now, it is result of my previous wrong action. Y él considera lo que me está perturbando ahora, lo que me puede afrontar ahora, es un resultado de mis acciones previas que he realizado. But still I'm getting some reaction, and that is the mercy of my Lord. It is not cruelty of my Lord, it is mercy of my Lord. Y aún sí estoy recibiendo alguna reacción, pero ese es el resultado. La misericordia de mi Señor no es la crueldad de mi Señor. And it is for purifying me, for teaching me. Y es para purificarme, para enseñarme. And finally, Diabak, he will become uh, fit. He, he is inheriting. He becomes heir to a plot of land in that land of positive immortality. Y al final él, él recibe esa herencia como uno recibe un terreno. Y esa herencia es en la tierra de, de inmortalidad positiva. All his action goes to the account of his Lord. Todas sus acciones van a la cuenta de su Señor. He may not be perfect now, but everything he is giving for the service of his Lord. Puede ser que no es perfecto ahora, pero todo lo que está dando es para el servicio de su Señor. And the Lord will take the full charge of him. Y el Señor va a aceptar la plena responsabilidad de él. Thanks for mm -hmm. like your question. And within question, answer. No answer. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Bye. Your mercy, <coughs> You only taught us this es, thing. Es su pregunta, y dentro de su misma pregunta está la respuesta. And, and Maharaj's mercy, we learn this. For la misericordia de Maharaj, aprendimos eso. Maharaj, another part of this question, I think, and uh, maybe my question, if uh, a, a pure devotee, can he have some fallibility? In other words, can he make some mistake, although he is a pure devotee? Parte de su pregunta, lo que él está diciendo es que si un devoto puro hace algún error, que tiene esa falib, esa naturaleza falible. Can a pure devotee make some mistake? But he also answer that. The Lord taking charge for that. Question has come. Still question. Necessary to know why again the question has come. Again question come. Uh, question. What question? Uh, you question in English. In English. Yes. And Miles told in Spanish to me. Yeah. Then no. <laughs> I cannot understand. <laughs> <laughs> Your question in English, I may understand. But Miles told me clearly in, in Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> for clarification only. For clarification. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. If someone is a pure devotee, yes. can he make something? We can see. I, I understand your question. We can see pure devotees' activities sometimes not following the rules and regulations. And also pure devotees' activity uh, sometimes sinful happening. Is it your question? No. Then? That um, mistake. ordinary mistake, um, make left turn when you should turn right or something like that. A simple thing, but apparently something is wrong in his action. But he has made some, there's some flaw in his, in his action. 
Maybe he is... Um, He's not a good computer. Yes. Do <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Can you give one example? Computer uh, is pure just that. Maybe he is giving direction to the driver. And he's saying, oh, this street, turn left. But he should have said turn right. Correct direction is right. But he is saying turn left. Well, that is a mistake from, from ordinary vision. So pure devotee, is that a mistake? Or can pure devotee make such a mistake? Can he make a mistake like that? Or is he free from such a mistake? No, he will never make a mistake. My computer is pure devotee. You can take initiation from him. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, sometimes we can see in the character of devotees something fault. This is question. This is not question. I, I don't the think fault so. is not question. Tell why it is question. <laughs> I don't think that's maybe okay. Then take it that way. Samadhi bhajata priyasya taktanno bhavasya. Not necessary for him to do any prayer shikta. Ah, that is Krishna living in the heart of the devotee. Anything fault will come through their activity and Krishna will purify that situation and not necessary for that to do any practice. This is Bhagavad Sloka. Sapada Mulang Bhajata Priyasya Taktana Bhavat Sahari Parisa Hari is the Supreme Person and the Godhead and Hari is my friend, Hari is my my master, Hari is my life and soul. After this Feelings. Sometimes something wrong can come in their life, but is not looking fair. Right, right. That's also by the presence of Lord in his heart, it is no. automatically dissolving. No reaction coming to him, and also for that, not necessary to do any practice. This is meanings of that sloka. One example perhaps is uh, Maharaj Parikit. He becomes, he is chastising that Shringi, right, that Brahmin boy. <coughs> but uh, later he is considering, actually that boy did not do any wrong to me. But still he is chastising. So some one side might say that he has made a mistake for chastising him. But he could not think not that Brahmin by Don is wrong. His father, I'm sorry, his father, for not have not giving proper reception. Isn't it? Proper reception to? To Parikit Maharaj. No, his father given proper reception. Seeing his father, he tried to remove that Avisha. Curse. Mm -hmm. And he requested variety way to sing. He, he is a very pious king and he do not want to uh, take our wealth of virtue. For that he done it. You cannot curse him. You take back your curse. But that boy was very naughty boy. Then he not taken back that curse. He told what I told that must be. Then he had he knows the boy is very powerful. Then he gone to Raja Parikit and mm -hmm. apologized to Parikit. What shall I do? No other way. This curse he not will take back and it must be action. But for your knowledge, I am giving this. It is not a simple thing. Raja, you think which way you can get relief from this? 
And Parikito, when heard it, he was happy. He told it is very good. That is, I am thinking I have done much wrong and no reaction come. No reaction come, I am happy. When, when the Rikit arrived at that house, wasn't the father gone? Mm -hmm. The father was not present, right? When Prikat Maharaj arrived, arrived at that Brahmin's house, then father was not present. He was <coughs> father was inside in the room. Tray. And he's meditating. Right, right. And, but then the boy... <coughs> boy not was there. He did not <coughs> boy playing somehow. Oh, oh, okay, okay. But the so because he was in left trance, snake he didn't, he he didn't offer any water. <coughs> sitting place yes, and so yes, forth. Yes. Then Prikit became angry and left one snake. Prikit uh, wants to get some water. But he has seen no sound coming from the room. And he has seen the Rishi, he is doing tapasya. For that Rishi unconscious. But if he will go back, this is all tapasya he will take. This is the law. If you will go back. Without taking the water uh -huh. from that house, if he will go to other place, this is all tapasya will go behind him. Uh -huh. And Parikitu not wants to take it. First time I heard this. Then Parikit <coughs> make another decision. I shall make some wrong, then tapas shall not go with me. Then he done that. But after doing that, he thinking it is too much. Mm. And why I have done, I do not know. Then he was very old doctor. Repentant. Repentant. In the meantime, that cause, uh, news come to the Sringi's father. And he told it is very good for me. I have done wrong. I am a representative of Pancha Bandha. This kind of wrong I have done, then it is good for me. Then he left everything and gone to the Ganges and seated there prior profession. And other Muni, Rishi, etc., etc., they had very kid cars. Then they all come. A big assembly happened. Yeah. Then Parikit given nourishment to them, please. Uh, give me advice. Seven days only my time. What will be very good for me. And they are doing discussion and taking some rasgulla sometimes. <laughs> Uh, what is more satisfactory for the Lord Chaitanya? Mm? What is more satisfactory for what the Lord Chaitanya? What will satisfy yes. Mahaprabhu? Uh -huh, the inner develop, introspection, yeah. or, or the preaching? What will satisfy Mahaprabhu more, most? Inner development mm. or preaching? Which one will satisfy Mahaprabhu? The best. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Inner development or preaching? When my only question. Mahaprabhu must decide whether you will give inner development or preaching. Is it? Yes. Why he must decide? What is more satisfactory for him? Huh. What is satisfactory for Mahaprabhu? of Mahaprabhu? Huh. It is enough development or preaching. Huh. This is question. If you have no inner development, what will you preach? No, no. What is Mahaprabhu satisfactory? I shall do bhajan, that is in inner development. Or I shall preach. That is question. 
What is best? Bhajan or Prachar? Yes. This is question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, very clear question. Yes. Uh, like water. <laughs> <laughs> Hare Krishna. Should I get say in Spanish the question? No, Spanish. No, no. English. First, I want to know. Because when that I was the question you just said. Question, said. yes. This is question. And not to repeat. The bhajan. Mahaprabhu like, I shall do bhajan. Or Mahaprabhu oh, like, I shall do preach. That's that the is, question. This Ma is the pregunta. <coughs> Mahaprabhu le gusta que yo voy a hacer bhajan, el desarrollo interno, or le gusta que voy a predicar, mm -hmm. preach. Because when, when I read the Siddha Maharaj's book... Uh, I, I know, I know, yeah. I know. Okay. Now Sagar Maharaj gives okay. answer. <coughs> For pleasure of Mahaprabhu, we are trying to serve our Gurudev and what our Gurudev will teach us if it is bhajan or preaching that will satisfy Mahaprabhu because without the mercy of Gurudev nobody can satisfy the Lord. If Gurudev teaches us bhajan that must satisfy to Mahaprabhu. If Gurudev teaches us preaching, orders us, that must satisfy Mahaprabhu. But without Gurudev, we are not trying to satisfy Mahaprabhu. Ignoring the mercy or direction of our Gurudev. And Gurudev himself is Mahaprabhu. Because he is Shakshad Hari, and he is more, he is Prabhu Priya, <coughs> beloved of Mahaprabhu. So his direction, his order, and his mercy will give us what we will do to satisfy Mahaprabhu. It is not our decision. If I say I like to do bhajan, but my Guru Maharaj said, you get out and preach. Then what will be the value of my bhajan? If I say I want to preach, but Guru Dev said do bhajan, then what will be? It is the first stage. And our second stage, uh, Kirtana Kale, Smarana Hoyebe, Se Kale, Bhajan Nirjana Sambhu. If we also say our previous gurus, they all did bhajan, and we want to do bhajan. But we have been taught by Srila Saraswati Thakur that first if we follow the kirtan process, our guru is teaching us generally always Hari Nama Eva Keva. Only that, that after that kirtan, power of kirtan without offense, then only it is possible in a purified stage that we can do internal bhajan, not before. So there is answer from the general stage and from the specific stage, both. If it marches mercy, I try. Uh, uh, here is little clarification. We'll give very good nourishment. That is, so what is the meaning of bhajan? Meaning of bhajan, the bhajdhatu sevayam. It is service. Anything may be service if it is instructed by my master. Anything. That will be service. Otherwise, all will be karma. What I shall do, that will be karma. And what come through instruction of my master or any Vaishnava, satisfaction of the Vaishnava, that's also service. That's called 
come through instruction of my master or any Vaishnava. Satisfaction of the Vaishnava, that's also service. That's called seva. Vajdhatu sevayam. My master, spiritual master, not in front of me. What I shall do? He given some instruction to me. I shall follow. If I shall follow that, that is bhajan. And that is service. Preaching instruction, I shall preach. Collection instruction, I shall collect. All bhajan. Bhajan's nature is that seva. Seva mukhehi jivhagu. Then service is bhajan. Ah. Nartam Das Thakur also told, Jai Kirtan Hai Bhajan Sadhu Sangya Anukhan. The instruction and association of the Sadhu and Guru, both any way can come to me. If my Gurudev said, or any, my guardian, Vaishnav, say, Jai, you sit here, and some rice uh, mixed with some stone, you make different. Separate. Separate. That is bhajan and that is seva. That is need for the deity, a good rice. But rice is not still good. Instruction comes from my master or guardian. That's also bhajan. If we'll say, clean the drain and clean the, this, 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 this pot. So what we are doing, that is practical. It is practical, our. <coughs> All is bhajan. That is vajdhatu, meaning is seva. And when today took initiation, the Bijaya? Bijaya Ananda. Bijaya I asked to Rasabdi, what Bijaya Ananda doing? He told he's clean, cleaning the pots. I told him he's qualified. He's cleaning the pot. That is, he knows what is bhajan. He is cleaning the pots, cleaning the other things. Yeah. That is necessary for the service of the Guru Vaishnava. Then it is bhajan. And through that, all power will come to him. Understand, Prabhu? Yes, I understand. And what you are doing, that's also bhajan. You are thinking, I say, I am doing chanting Hare Krishna, uh, living in the room and altar. That may not be bhajan, that may not be, uh, may be karma. Mm. But if it is an instruction of your instructor, yeah, you do this, that will be seva. And seva means bhajan. Prabhupada Sarsetha said, Maharaj is one very dear friend named Sambhavaji Maharaj. Everybody knows Babaji Maharaj. You have seen maybe Krishna Dar Babaji Maharaj. He always doing bhajan, and Prabhupada not like that. Sarasvati Thakur is later printed in the book. Je baliyati jangole bosiya malika korsan Krishna anushilan nahe. He is living in the jungle and chanting. And Prabhupada Sarsha Thakur said, it is not bhajan. <coughs> if you take him from that jungle to Allahabad, that time Guru Mahaj was in Allahabad, and engaged in Shiva, that will be bhajan for him. Understand? Then bhajan, kirtan, sharan, etc., everything depending upon the mood of service. If it is service, then it is bhajan. Otherwise, nothing will be bhajan. Kirtan also bhajan. The service, any kind of service, instruction coming from above, that is bhajan. 
Then what you will do preaching, that's also bhajan. What you will do cleaning, that's also bhajan. And what you will read, that's also bhajan. If it is come from your instructor. I mean that uh, that question because in my heart I feel some some trouble because Siddha Maharaj said in his book uh, everything is all right there is no problem mm -hmm. so uh, I think uh, if, if all this is good what I can do for the patient <laughs> everything is all right if it is under instruction of your instructor guru or Vaishnava or any guardian. That is, I use this word guardian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Everything is all right if you follow the guardian's rule. Mm -hmm. That is bhajan. It is clear. Not, not everything is all right within misconception environment, mundane environment. Living in mundane environment, everything is right. All right, not. Hmm? Not that everything is all right, but we are living in mundane illusion. But mm -hmm. everything is all right if we are living under the direction of our guardian. <coughs> yes. yes. Under direction of our guardian, everything will be all right. Yes. If I can follow that. And necessary to do seva. Harinam, that's also seva. You know, the sloka, Sevan Mukhe Hi Jivadu Shwame Baspurat Tada, Atta Si Krishna Namadi, you know that sloka. What is the meaning of that sloka? The Sevan Mukhe Hi Jivadu. The seva, which way it will be seva? Under instruction, under direction. <coughs> A guru or Vaishnava. That will be Seva, otherwise not Seva. Some direction come from your guru or Vaishnava, whom you are following, then that will be Seva. And what willingly you will do may not satisfy your guru, may not satisfy your Vaishnava. But that is good thing, but he do not want that. You are doing good, but he do not want it. Then that not will be seva. Maharaj, I think one thing he is saying is that you know, Guru Maharaj is saying that the environment is friendly, huh? but the environment is friendly to he, us. He is not Even clear. He is not clear with his, that question. Guru Maharaj, what said necessary to say? Uh -huh. Can I say something? That is, I am not clear with that. And I not thinking about this. All right, that's your right. No, but he's talking about what said, the individual. But his question is clear. Right. His question is clear. But what Guru Maharaj said, maybe that, that he cannot present perfectly. But when his question is clear, then Guru Mahal is what told and not to told, that is not question for me. No, no, but uh, I, I, have, I have my own question. Yes. Oh, what about this? What about... In the name of Guru Maharaj, if you say something, and if not it is Guru Maharaj's comment, then that is very difficult for me. Right. Hmm. Then I am avoiding that part. Yeah, not to. But his perfect question is clear. Question there is no happiness. Right. Then it is very easy. Yes. And Guru Mahath must say that. I mean, I am telling, yeah, oh, oh, no, bring my napkin. Mm -hmm. And if you bring that water, that not will be seva. Mm -hmm. That is, I can't sell that. And I told, bring my napkin. Yeah. And if you bring my napkin instead of water, that will be seva. That means satisfaction of Guru Vaishnava. That is Seva. If Guru Dev told you go for preach, that will be Seva. Then that is Bhajan. Bhajan, this word,
coming from Shiva, then you cannot anyway ignore that word. Bhaj, this word coming from Shiva. Bhajdhatu Shivaya. Very clearly. That at Sevan Mukhe is Jivhadu. If you do Harinam, that's also must be Seva. If you will do that order of your master. Then everything, you can dance, that is Seva. You can jump, that is Seva. Anything. Not anything with your, within your account. Everything you must give account of your guardian. And from your guardian, what will come to you? That will be Seva. If you beat someone, that will also Seva. If it is instruction, you beat that dog. Dog is doing much nonsense. That's also Seva. So Larry Maris is wondering, I think, if he can uh, give a summary in Spanish? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> now you can give summary. <laughs> now I am forgiven. You forget it. Su pregunta era que, que es mejor hacer? Bhajan, que está poniendo en palabras del desarrollo interno, o predicar. Entonces, la respuesta que le está dando si le gobierno Maharaj es la palabra bhajan realmente no se está completamente relacionada con seva o servicio. La palabra es desarrollo o bhajan, práctica, viene de seva. Entonces, cualquier actividad que está hecha en relación con las instrucciones de mi guardia o del Vaishnava, la persona en, que, en quien estoy refugiándome, ese es, ese es Bajan cuando estoy cumpliendo con sus instrucciones. Y, y Shila Govindamar dio el ejemplo de un devoto que se inició hoy, que era, se, llamaba, se llama... Um, Um, Vijayananda. Ese Vijayananda cuando cuando uh, Shila Govinda Maharaj preguntó qué está haciendo, pues la respuesta era que está lavando hoyos. Entonces Govinda Maharaj dijo que con una actitud de servicio vio que era capacitado, que estaba listo a recibir la iniciación. Entonces lo que si mi maestro espiritual está instruyéndome de, de traer agua. Estoy trayendo ese agua, pero mientras que estoy trayendo el agua, pues el maestro espiritual pide que traiga otra cosa, como una servilleta. Una servilleta. Si continúo y traigo el agua, eso no es servicio, eso no es seba, no es bajo. Pero si lo hago, si tra le traigo lo que pide, servieta, entonces ese es, está así, el seba. Y, y cualquier actividad que yo hago, incluso soltar, or, or, las actividades que hago bajo la, la guía de mi guardián, pues eso es, realmente es bajo. Y el, si el gobierno dice que esa es la, la la manera que siempre escuchamos de parte de Shila Guru Maharaj, durante todo nuestro entrenamiento, estaba enfocado en ese punto. Y incluso las actividades que hacemos, de cantar y todo eso, eso puede ser karma, si no está bajo de la instrucción del maestro espiritual. Después dio otros ejemplos y otros, otros como variaciones, pero todo enfocado en ese punto. ¿Ah? Yes. 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 Yes.
I think it's very good for this, uh, this student, for this uh, Yes. What is your name? Jose because he wants to, to get initiation from me. If he wants to take initiation from me, uh, which way it will be possible? You can take from Ashram Maharaj. I gave my full power to Ashram Maharaj. Maharaj. Mm -hmm. But it is like, no, you have the, you have the, what? Like the chocolate just coming in front of your, in front of your mouth. Oh. <laughs> like <laughs> half. <laughs> half. Uh, when we shall need tomorrow. Yes, my And then suddenly you say, no, no. What? We take care of. Understand what you are to do. But when, when we shall leave tomorrow? Oh, very early, at 7.55. Plain leaves. Seven? Plain leaves at 7.55. That means so 8 o'clock. That means we have to leave here about 6 o'clock. I was sure. 6 o'clock. Well, no later than you six. want sure, sure? We check out it. No, that is... No, approximately yours. Approximately, yes, no, about 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Yeah, that will give us time to arrive. 7 o'clock at the airport, we must one leave. hour before, checking baggage with Sagar Maharas, which is like very fine road. Very <laughs> painful. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be checking all the baggage. <laughs> now 9 o'clock. Some arrangement necessary. Can he go to the dark room? Can he go to the dark room? You open one door, he's going to open one door. Can you come to the dark room? Can you come to the dark room? Can you come to the dark room? What do you hear of Veracruz? I'm asking that much, if he can come. Este, yo, yo aquí trabajo económicamente. Por favor, comida la comida, la cuestión y el que preguntaba hace rato también. Mm. Mm. Yo, mm. Puede hacer, ¿Eh? uh, he's, he's his father. Uh, José, el padre. Uh, José, what, you know? what tell father, what tell you? Oh, father, previously he wanted I like to talk a little bit with you about also being initiated, but I could not follow exactly what was his, uh, it was not clear his, his proposition. Mm -hmm. I find it very clear now that uh, he's saying, oh, I, I wanted to, uh, so that, that's, but mm -hmm. the, the, the problem now is that it is your last night here, and then we are going to Europe, Mexico, and then, I don't know when you are going to come again. But I didn't know also how many other people were asked for initiation. Can you come tomorrow at 5 o'clock? I also told you, Kaji to be called Dugan Ruti Dida. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> We can do kirtan, but the question is whether neighbors are going to be disturbed. Yes, neighbor will be disturbed, not necessary. Tomorrow morning, we'll oh. 
His father also here with shaved head and Sika. And mother and sir. And mother. She is not shaved. Continue. Or Baba or Mama. To Mama. Here is Father. Not the man's father. He was Doti Sika. Shaved head. He He is asking us. He just told mother. Mother dancing last night in the kirtan also. Ah, mother I have seen. Actually, he given me very nice photo of Prabhupada. Yes. Ah, that is, I am indicated with him. I shall pay ah, my debt to him. Le ha dato una, un, una pintura de Prabhupada, está muy endeudado contigo, entonces te va a repagar. Y ¿qué es lo que se This day, this one more day, this If you preach day by day, it will come. It's not a new thing. It's okay. Morning. Living morning before that initiation. This is my good fortune. I cannot say bad fortune. But yeah, it's Sajjan Maharaj, here is Asra Maharaj, they are here. Anyhow. Yeah. Oh. No, oh. Oh. He will speak Lady Lisa. 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 Mm.